Rian, what did you like? All of them. You liked all of them. Which was your favourite, though? The flip. Floppy one. Floppy one, the one with Floppy in. Yeah. Who did you read to? Mummy. Slow down, said Mum. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Biff is in the chen tent. Um, a uh, tent to go to fall down. The washing line is tangled round Biff, round Kipper and Pants. That's I mean, funny, isn't it? That's funny. Let me look. Oh, yeah, we can see. Yeah. yeah. Is, is Big Brother Chip? Dad is knocking on the window. What's that saying? Get inside. Do you think so? No, stop it, Sam. What is that? Stop! <gasps> it's not chipped paint over and not the vegetables, the bread and the fruit. They've made a track now. I got that one. Lollipop man, lollipop lady. That's it. She That's got. it. Well done, you read that really nicely. Can you remember what it was called? What was the title? Can you remember? Mum, Dad, Kipper and Chip. It and was Fluffy, about them. It was called the Look Out. Why was it called Look Out? Because it was going too fast to his bike. The bones in the sand just had a letter shape on so them. So see if he knew the letter shape on its own. Absolutely. The sound alone. it made without any cues and any prompts from anything else. What quickly became obvious was that Rian could identify all of the eight he letters. He did it really well. He did it very, very quickly. He didn't rely on the pictures at all for any of them. So it became obvious that for him, even though some of the letters had only been introduced very, very recently, he'd taken that on board, his, he'd consolidated his learning and he was identifying the letter sound just from the letter shape. So really, there was no learning as such <coughs> going on today. It was it, consolidation. It absolutely was a consolidation. And, a, and then, because we had this recorded, a really great way of us having that confirmation that he definitely knew it all was. those sounds. And, and also <laughs> for me it showed the learning from last week when there were two letter sounds that he, he wasn't so good at, he didn't know consistently last week and he does now. So that's really informative for us then for our planning for next week. It is and, it? and to know that I think we can safely give him phonic readers Yes. Um, and we can send him home with those and hopefully at home they'll do a video diary too. Yes. Um, and they'll experience this as well. How lovely. <laughs> Just watching the footage of Rian reading with some friends and I'm interested in how much of a difference it makes for him to take a lead role and to interpret his own learning for somebody else and I'm particularly interested in how that's useful to learning for uh, children but adults as well and that seems to me relevant to the whole project that for Rian to explain to his peers what he understands about reading helps him to articulate it for himself. He models the processes and in doing so he registers in his own mind what strategies are successful 
and his self-esteem is boosted by being able to do so for the entertainment of his friends and they're clearly very engaged with what he's doing for them and it's a very enjoyable sequence of film to watch. I'm enjoying watching the teachers talking about what's happening in this project as well and I think exactly the same thing is happening that because we are all articulating what we think we're learning a huge amount just from that process and I think that's a very very important form of continuing professional learning or development the chance to share it with somebody else G-O-T No, G It's a J Oh, G Jog 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 Jog, well done. You've done those ones. What about these ones? Pound. Well done. I don't make up to me not me up to mock. Well done. It's that same sound again. It says j j j. Oh, Nearly. J. Oh, oh, G. G. What's it say? Jug. Jug. Good yeah. boy. Well done. interactive whiteboard activity where he was segmenting and blending sounds for CVC words um, it was really interesting because he was very confident um, and towards the end I had included sounds uh, that had been introduced really very recently to him so they weren't as well rehearsed <coughs> and practiced and interestingly enough when he came to the page with dog on it, he actually initially sounded it out uh, g -o -d, um, and then realised that was wrong and looked to me for um, support. I did pause for a while but he really did want my input so I actually segmented that word for him uh, and then he repeated it after me. The very next page was dig so only the vowel in the middle was different um, but he'd obviously taken on board absolutely what I'd said to him on the, pe the previous page with dog and he um, sounded that out absolutely perfectly, no hesitation, completely correctly which is why Rian is making such rapid progress at the moment because he's thoroughly enjoying it um, apparently and um, he's listening really carefully and taking it on board so um, long may it continue.
Excellent. One of the good things that we saw this week um, was Rian um, being the teacher. He'd actually chosen to do this activity by himself and he'd taken on the role of holding up the sound cards like I do and he had um, the children on the carpet and um, his friends and they were saying the sounds and he was holding them up and um, he was teaching them if they didn't know the sound he was telling them so he's showing us now that he's quite proficient he looks at the letters he knows the sounds in another activity um, he was making words CVC words with the phonics cubes and he was very very good very confident at doing this in fact he just wants to move on from that activity so that's telling us again now he's almost moved on from that stage too that's all going to help with his reading and with his writing as well uh, something else that's been really important is the reading that takes place in school um, with his peers um, sometimes it's with children who are older sometimes it's with children in the same class and to me this is really really um, an essential part because if he doesn't enjoy reading then that makes everything much more difficult Look at me. See if you can point to remember this time. Look at me. Brilliant. It says it's written by Trevor Hudson. Okay, pointing. Look at me. I am a mouse. Fantastic. What told you that that was going to say mouse? What helped you? There's a, to, there's a mm. And what else did you look at? I saw your eyes moving. You looked at the photograph of the mouse and a picture. Look at me, I am a frog. Well done, you pointed really well at those words. Look at me, I am a frog. Floppy feet. Floppy feet. Flippers. Flippers. Flippers, it's a funny word. Okay. Uh, look at me, I am a rabbit. A rabbit, I like his teeth and his ears and his whiskers. Look at me, I am a chicken. That's chicken, a really chicken. funny one, isn't it? Yeah, chicken chicken. Mum, Chip, Biff and Floppy were watching. Mum threw a stick for Floppy to fetch it, but Floppy didn't want to go and fetch the stick. So then, Biff threw the stick and Biff's hat had fallen off her head. So, after that, Floppy zoomed in the river. Uh, Mum was going to chuck a Mum chucked a stick, but I, more, Floppy didn't want to go. So, Biff threw the stick and her hat fell off. Floppy zoomed and got the cab. His older sister modelled the reading for him, she told the story of the first book, she modelled reading the words of the other books and then he followed and he looked tired because it was the end of the day but it was obviously a very worthwhile exercise so that was really good to be able to see what's going on at home and the support that's there and that was brilliant. Um, when Rian was reading with me however he wants to read as quickly as he possibly could. He wants to turn the pages as quickly as he could. And I 
I didn't realise as much while I was doing it as when I looked back at the video that I'm holding the pages down to try and slow him down and I've got so many questions I want to ask but I don't get the chance to ask them all because Rian really just wants to move on and get it done as quickly as possible. Maybe it means that we need to pick different material, maybe it needs to be more suited to him, maybe we need to choose books now that are more challenging with more words in and um, we just need to wait and see really. Um, but it's been um, a good week and Reen is progressing really, really well. So, so far, so good. the footage of Rian writing and using the skills that he's learning for reading to support his creation of his own text and uh, yet again see what a confident child he is in this process and I think that the point that comes out of this for me is how important how important readiness is in all of this that if we were to impose all of this skill acquisition before the children were ready we wouldn't see such a positive picture of the application of it. And one of the great skills of early years teachers is the ability to work out exactly what the right moment is. And clearly that's been the case here. Jane and Sarah have worked out exactly what's right for Ian. And he's thriving with that. And it's a pleasure to watch it. That's Word say, Rian. Uh, what did that word say? This one, look. Ah, uh, no, uh, 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 uh
And. And Tom going to And. What word did this say? Because you pointed at this one. What does that say? And. Is that the same word? No. No. It looks similar, but it's Quick not plans. the same they word. Similar, yeah, they do. Ready for the next one? This round? Well done, Rian. What does it say? What does it say? Remember, what does it say? Pig. Does it? Pig. Good luck. Is it a paper? Big. Yeah, well done. Pig. Ready for the next one? At first, uh, I was very, very uh, scared uh, of using video footage. Um, it was horrible at first sitting back and watching myself and thinking, do I really speak in that way? And so on. But once you get over that, then you look beyond that and then I can watch myself and how I'm behaving, how I'm helping and supporting learning. And am I asking op open questions? Um, Am I actually supporting Len or am I hindering it in some way? Rain's come home, we spoke a lot about the reading project. He's, he's obviously taking it in and learning. He's um, learnt lots of words, we sort of spell out lots of words, he's talked a lot about school, so he seems to be really enjoying it, he's, he's um, coped really well with it, um, and we're all enjoying it actually, all the other kids are having a go with him and sitting with him and reading, and he does enjoy different sorts of books, so uh, yeah he's done, he's done alright, yeah so I'm really pleased. Who's this for? Me. Calling. See when you Climbed up the wall. Yes. Spout. Down came the rain and washed the fire out. out. Come out came the sunshine, sunshine and cried a full array. So we see when she spied a climbed up the spout again. So choose a character then. A character, I'll choose. From over here. Um. Now read it to Corey and see if he thinks it's funny. Dad, my, my, my dad wears pink, pink lipstick. I think Corey wants to smile, but he's holding it back. Right, let's do another one. <laughs> I'm, I'm I think it's funny. I'm... Could you find a character that doesn't fly in a rocket that would sound silly? This is the me. This is... Go on then, go this on then. This is the me. Quick, tell Corey. Is this one? Yeah, no, you will. That's it. That's the right way round now. Well done. Draft flies in a. Rocket. <laughs> Put the spaceman first and I'll help you read that. It says A spaceman has a long neck. A spaceman has a long neck. <laughs> Corey's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one funny? Do you want to make one more? <laughs> I am not. not. I'm going to help you with that sound. Far. Far, you knew it. I am not far. Off. Nearly. It says first though. I am not far. Off. From. From. The. The. Sound it out, don't just guess. P R 
Nand. Pond. Pond. I am not far pond. from the pond. pond. <laughs> <laughs> now it's near the pond, so you've got to look. Pond. Ian's got to find the clues as he goes along, so the first clue will give him an idea as to where the second clue is and so on and so forth until he gets to an Easter egg. I'm in a room with... Lots. Lots. Of. B. Nearly, you can say o or o it says o b o Books. I'm in a room with lots of books. books. Where is there a room with lots of books in school? I wanted to do this because I've kind of felt frustrated sometimes during the project that I can think of so many things that it's possible to do, but not necessarily when you have the, the class with you all the time. So this gives me an opportunity to actually go and to do that one-to-one -one almost. Um, and to see um, real enjoyment, hopefully, and to give Rean the message that, well, if I couldn't read this, then I wouldn't end up with an Easter egg. Colder, colder, Ooh. warmer, <gasps> hot, it's hot. Oh, we're getting warmer still. There. <laughs>